with the digital revolution, e-commerce is exploding in India, tipped to reach $200 billion by 2027, according to Morgan Stanley. Now leading the race are Walmart's Flipkart and Jeff Bezos' Amazon. But policy changes could turn the tide. In February, India tightened its foreign direct investment policy, effectively banning exclusive sales outlawing the sale of products on platforms they count as investors, as well as restricting discounts and cashbacks. So, is the party pretty much over for e-commerce giants? I sat down with Vinny Banzel, co-founder for Flipkart, for his take on the changes. Well, e-commerce in India has now taken a turn. The Modi government has recently introduced new rules to e-commerce in the country. Essentially, the new rules restrict e-commerce firms from selling products via companies in which they have an equity interest in or push companies to sell exclusively on their platforms. Now, you've been really critical about these restrictions. How damaging is this for the Indian startup scene? Yeah, I think it is less about these particular restrictions. I think it is also about how the regulations come into effect and. Uh, uh, how the whole change uh, takes place. I would basically expect a lot more uh, stable sort of policy regime uh, in, the, uh, in the country because all these uh, markets, all, uh, whether it's e-commerce or it's uh, transportation market with taxis or any other uh, market, technology sort of market, things take a lot of time and capital uh, to really develop and mature. And if policy keeps changing uh, every two, second or third year, it uh, becomes very, very hard for, uh, for everyone. For large companies, it becomes hard to navigate. For small companies, it just becomes hard to start and survive. Policies uh, like this one make it very hard for now entrepreneurs to start new e-commerce companies as well because when we started, there was very few policies and so was a lot of startups in 2007 to 2012, 13 could start doing e-commerce and grow big. But in 2018, 19, if you need, want to start an e-commerce company, you have to really go through what can you do, what can you not do uh, in a lot of detail. It's been reported that Amazon and Flipkart have been um, badly impacted by these new regulations because they are still deciding what they can sell and can't sell on their platforms. What exactly is the fate for e-commerce in India if these new regulations stay in place? Long term, I think, I mean, Flipkart, Amazon, uh, or other e-commerce companies will figure out, uh, obviously, and navigate how to uh, do business within this policy framework. I think what it does is it's really a change in policy like this uh, really affects your momentum. Uh, as you're building out uh, new businesses, as you're hiring people. Uh, I think that's, that's the bigger problem it, it creates. And more so for, again, smaller startups, because the bigger companies uh, have people and teams which, will, which can figure out uh, how to navigate around these. Hi, I'm Christine Tan, and thanks for watching Managing Asia. Do check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thanks for watching.